I'm Edie Morin, and I'm reading from You Look Good for Your Age. This is from Well Preserved. From my cafe table, I watch them enter. I observe them huddle together and stand in line, habituated as I am from hours of watching screens, those miniature crystalline savannas, everything a game preserve now, the distinct sounds of Korean, Seo and Nita, the musical lilt of their tongues flow between them. One woman's hair is blonde dyed with brush strokes of green, the palest of greens, gray green. I admire the strange boldness of it. I wonder at her matching sweater, the mint green melting cloth coat. I could never wear those hues and be beautiful, not even when I was young. It reminds me of Anne Shirley and her green hair. And I recall my friend from Inchon and her affection for the young orphan Anne who was sent to live at Green Gables. My friend said she'd read that book countless times growing up. The Korean translation first, later the original. The redhead heroine's hair dyeing tobacco was especially funny, she said. Funny and sadly moving. Observing these young women, I grudgingly conceived that they would be beautiful, no matter what they wore no matter how they messed with their hair. Even feisty Anne with an E and her botched dye job would be beautiful. I see that now. But why isn't natural gray becoming? When a petal turns, its vibrant color fades, its seeds scatter, and that's it.